Well, she's at it again. Our Ronnie Dahl is holding people accountable who try to get away with trashing Detroit. Today, she spotted a couple of guys dumping tires and demanded answers. She joins us live from Detroit's west side. Now, Ronnie, I'm sure these guys had an explanation for you, right? Well, call it an explanation. I say it's an excuse, but it doesn't matter. I don't care how they sugarcoat it. Illegally dumping is wrong, and this tire pile is putting innocent people's lives in danger. A dangerous building used to sit on this lot in the 13,000 block of Dexter Avenue. City contractors recently tore down the building, but crews left the tires that were on the lot behind, and neighbors are worried. Just a mountain of tires here before, you know, that someone set them on fire. Because we had a big fire here uh, just past uh, Saturday on Davidson. So just trying to get some help to get the tires removed. Cleaned it out, but in the process of them cleaning it out, they found a, you know, stack of tires. So they stacked them there, and like I said, it's an easy target for anybody to come and set a fire on. So day after day, the tile pile sits and it grows. It ain't nothing but dumping. As you can see, all of them tires, they just taking them and just tossing them up there. Have they added to the piles? Yeah, yeah, of course. You you can see that they added to the piles. They just whoever is doing it, somebody just need to be out here. Catching them. The tire dumpers are so bold. While we were working on our story, we noticed a truck in the alley, and the guys weren't here to be good Samaritans. Yeah, so what are you guys doing? It looked like you were dumping. Of course, there has to be an explanation for all of this. They wouldn't possibly think to dump a truckload full of tires in the broad daylight with businesses all around, would they? And these people know that we was putting these tires right here. We know we was here with permission. I can call the guy who got me Good, up because I, I'm on the news. Yes, you're going to be on the news because you have an entire truck full of tires. I warned tire dumpers before. If I catch you, you will have to pay the price. What, what is that all about? That's so I can run your plate. What's the name of your company? Oh, I'll tell you what it is. It's Double J's. It's right there on uh, Michigan. Yeah, because I know who you are. You know what I'm saying? I be watching you, and I know who you are. So you know that I will trace your yes, license plate. I know plate. exactly who you are. I'm yeah, for real, because I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I don't got nothing to do with this. You know, I'm taking these couple tires right here so I can be in the back out because it don't seem like they're all about to move, and I'm telling them to come right straight over here. Well, we've been out here all afternoon. The boss has not come straight out over here. In fact, we haven't heard from him at all, but I did run that plate. We'll be following up on this story. We also reached out to the city of Detroit, and they tell me they did have an inspector out here late this afternoon. They're going to work on getting these tires removed because if this thing goes up in flames, well, that could be a danger to a lot of people, not just the neighbors, but also the firefighters themselves. For now, we are live on Detroit's West Side. Back to you. Okay, Ronnie, can't wait for your follow up. Thank you.